Hello everyone, today I will explain how to generate proxies in DaVinci Resolve 18 and all the new updates regarding proxies. Initially, we will import the media. We can simply right click on the clip and click add to media pool or we can drag it directly into the media pool. With the clip selected in the media pool, with the right click button, we can generate media proxy or we can link it. If we eventually generate proxy in the media encoder, we can link the proxies. To determine the parameters of the proxies, we have to check in the project settings the resolution of the proxies and the format. If you have a weaker machine, I advise you to use a low quality format. Regarding the destination where the proxies will be generated, the proxy will be generated for the media store we define it. In my case, it is volume G. In version 18, we can turn on the Ask When Creating Proxies option to make sure where we are generating them for. Now, let's click on Generate Epoxy Media and choose the folder. This symbol here means that this clip has a proxy associated with it. Let's import the clip into the timeline. The clip is already with the proxy in the timeline. If you do not see this symbol, we have to go to the playback and under proxy handling, select prefer proxies. This function allows you to use the proxies or the originals. If we click on prefer camera originals, automatically that symbol disappears and we are using the originals. Now, in DaVinci Resolve, we have a new app called Blackmagic Prox Generator. This app allows you to make proxies outside DaVinci Resolve. In this app, we can put one folder for the creation of proxies. I will select the folder I want and click Start. To know where the proxies were generated, we can click on the Show button. And here are the automatically linked proxies. If you create the proxies in media encoder, you can right-click on the clip and click Relink Proxy Media. Select the clip and activate the proxies. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.